It's time for a little build with some Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. So I just got a big pile of them here. And we are going to build a dock with these Jenga blocks. Got some assorted colors in there. So we're going to start out, we're going to grab five blocks and of course not go with the glue. So we'll do five blocks for each section of the dock. These are going to be fully modular using the old tacky glue there because you can work faster with the tacky glue anyway so we're going to grow glue three of them side by side and then one on each end to form our basic shape pretty straightforward love these jenga blocks because they're a buck and you can get half a million of them and that's what I've been doing is building a whole bunch of stuff out of these and trying to come up with new things I can build with it. All right, so there we go. There's our basic, it's our basic shape that we're going to be using for each dock section. Now this particular dock section, what I'm going to do is I am going to add to it and make this a longer section. And I'm just doing this just so that when I'm laying out the dock on the table, I don't necessarily have to have a whole bunch of individual little pieces going on. So same thing, just putting three side by side. And then I will glue one more sort of end cap on there for the final piece. Boom. There we go. And that's the base for our long piece. And of course we'll let that dry, but that's why we're using the tacky glue because it goes a whole lot faster when we use the tacky glue. Now what we're going to do is build one of the smaller ones. So what we got here is just our five pieces again. I'm going to glue those together in the same way. Exciting watching me glue, I know. Just kidding. Anyway, going to glue these ones together. Bam, bam, bam. And then the last end cap piece. And there we go. So we got our little smaller modular section now. Boom. There it is. So there we go. Now I've glued up several of them. A few of the larger ones. A few of the smaller ones. Uh, you can see I've got some of those brown ones. They just The kits that I got, the Jenga games that I got, came with a bunch of uh, varied colors. So we're going to take these two blocks and we are going to stack them on top of one another. And all I'm doing here is setting my level for how high I want the pillars on the side that are going to be my legs. So I'm not gluing those pieces. They're just holding my dock piece up at the correct level. So I'm not trying to so I'm not trying to figure out how to level this and eyeball it and hold it in place. So I have six posts for the long ones and I will glue those on. Once again, super duper tacky glue because it's the best stuff in the world. And then we'll just stick those on. And the nice thing about this is no measuring required because since all the blocks are the same size, I'm just lining them up with my center pieces almost like I planned it that way. Yeah, I didn't really plan it that way. <laughs> it just sort of worked out that way. But then we have, so there we go. And that is almost, almost that completed section. That's the majority of what we have to do. But we'll get to another step when we get into the, the final stages of building these modular pieces. But for now, that's what we'll do at this particular step. And now we're going to do the same thing with one of the small ones. So sorry, I got a little bit out of camera there, but we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to stack two on top of one another, not glued together, just to hold up my 
my modular dock piece so that I know how high my legs are going to be and again preventing some measuring a little bit of tacky glue and four more pieces so usually when they have these at the Dollar Tree these Jenga boxes I just stack up on them I get as many of them as I can fit in my basket because you never know what sort of ideas you're going to come up with to build with these things. I've built a whole bunch of different stuff. I may make some other videos on some of the other stuff I've done with them, although there's already some really good ones out there. I know DM Scotty has built some really cool furniture using these. I haven't built any furniture yet. Uh, well, that's not true. I've built some tables, but other than that. So there we go. Those are Those are mostly dry now. And what we're doing here is I'm gluing these sections in between the posts. And that's just so that when we connect the modular dock pieces, there's not a gap in between. Because if those weren't on there, we would end up with a small gap. And retrospectively, I could have done this before I glued the legs on. And on some of the later pieces, I did do that. But you can see right there, that makes the gap gone. Whereas if I hadn't added that little piece in there, we'd have a gap in there. And then some poor adventurer or skirmish model would fall into the gap, be forever destroyed, and you would be upset. So we fixed the gap for them. So we'll put those on the other side as well. And it'll close up the gap for that. Makes it a little chunkier too. Maybe a little bit more durable. Although I will say that the nice, probably the nicest thing about working with these Jenga pieces is since they are wood, uh, using the tacky glue or Elmer's glue makes a super nice bond, and they are extremely strong. I've already I haven't dropped any of the dock pieces yet, but I've dropped plenty of the other pieces. All right, so here's another piece doing the same thing to it. This time, though, as you can see here, I realized, hey, let me go ahead and glue those gap pieces on before I glue the feet on, because then I don't have to worry about lining anything up. I can let the tabletop do the work of keeping everything level. So bonus points for me for figuring it out after the fact. <laughs> Obviously, I could have made that a whole lot easier on myself had I just done that in the first place, but I didn't, and it worked out in the end anyway, so... Line those up so that we make sure we have enough gap. And again, no measurements required because all of those little Jenga pieces are kind of marking out where, where we need to line everything up so that all those leg pieces will still fit in. So move those out of the way. Do this other big piece. Probably could have cut this part, but hey, it's my first time doing one of these narrated build videos, so we'll see how it works out. Again, I just found this way to be a whole lot easier than gluing the feet on first. Just because using your tabletop to keep it level was... It was just easier. It wasn't standing up. You didn't have to hold the piece at all. Just stick them on and let that tacky glue do its job. Bada boom, bada bing, there you go. It's a lovely thing. And I did do this on the smaller modular pieces as well. Again, just so I could eliminate the gap. All right, and there it is. So we got a couple of those done, and you can see I'd already done that one small modular piece. So we'll put one on here as well. And I don't know what sort of glue you guys use. I really like the tacky glue, just because the I, I can I can move it around a little more quickly. I don't have to wait quite as long. So I'm a big fan of that. If there's something that you use that you like, throw it in the comments and uh, I'll check it out because I love glue. All right, there we go. So we got those all done. There's a whole bunch of them done up. And now we're going to use the same technique we did previously to get our feet on. We're going to stack two of the Jenga blocks to get our height and then start gluing the four corners. Then push the feet on and 
it'll be all put together and ready to go except for a little bit of drying time so there we go put that there on top of our little support put those legs on put the other set of legs on squeeze them together get that glue in there real good and there you go that's it that's how you do it wow that was really hard wasn't it <laughs> and then we go right here there is a 90 percent there's the built small modular piece right there nice little piece works out well and then there's the built larger modular piece now i built mine to have the posts standing up higher but you can easily flip them over just so that they stand a little bit more off of your water surface or whatever surface you want so we go sticking a few pieces together We're gonna do a quick quick hey look at this neat thing build they go together real nicely and we'll have some pictures at the end of them painted up on a little water board just so you can see how they look and the 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 painted ones actually look pretty good right out of the box so if you built a bunch of them just out of the painted stuff it would be perfect to just use them just like that you wouldn't even need to paint them so there you go that is the modular dock set so at the end here you'll see a few setup pictures we'll have some painted up pictures you can check out if you like this video like and subscribe please you can also check us out on podbean where we do our indie invasion podcast and we obviously are on youtube twitch a bunch of other places check us out you can check out all the links in the description and if you want to find out how to build some more cool stuff out of this out of these jingo blocks you can check out dm scotty his videos he's got some really really cool stuff so as you watch these and check out this awesome setup remember always to prepare yourself for the invasion